Hello everyone, it's Nadie, and today we'll be testing out the new Juvia's Place Royalty Loose Highlighters. As you beautiful people know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away, because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. So, I am very excited to test these little bitches out, because the last Juvia's Place product that we tested, I didn't really care for. Which is weird, because usually I adore the shit out of Juvia's Place. But honestly, I'm not sure if I fucked up when I ordered this, because I thought I was ordering super light colors, but I'm scared that these might be a little bit too dark. I don't know. I haven't even opened these up to check them out. But truthfully, I think I just got confused because I saw their other loose highlighters and one of them looked more my skin tone, but I'm on their website right now and I think that one of these might work. Ah, oh, fuck me in a Taco Bell break room. I really don't know, but either way, these will get used either as a highlighter or an eyeshadow. And if you know me at all, you'll know that I'm really not a fan of loose highlighter, which I'm sure you're thinking, then why the fuck did you buy these products? But like I said before, I'm kind of obsessed with Juvia's Place quality and I know that a lot of people actually don't like loose highlighters. But a lot of people might I also like the colors that these come in, so I think we're gonna be brave and try to press these. Of course, we will test these before I press them, and I'm not gonna press the entire thing in case it fucks it up. But if you like the quality of the color, but you don't exactly love the product, bitch, I got you. We're gonna test the shit out of these, we're gonna use them as highlighter, we're gonna use them as eyeshadow, we're gonna press them, and if by the end of the day I'm not peeing highlighter, I'm not happy. I'm on the Juvia's Place website right now, and this combo retails for $27, which I actually feel isn't that bad, because it seems like you get a lot of product. How much is actually in these? I mean, they look like a good size. Oh, damn, there's a lot in there, and that actually looks like the amount that you would get before you compact it down. So really, you're paying like $13.50 for, I'm guessing this would probably fit into a 40 millimeter pan, which is a little bit smaller than like an Ofra pan. But $13.50 is also way fucking cheaper than like an Ofra highlighter. No shade towards Ofra, I fucking love you, bitch. The website says this is a combination bundle of Royalty 1 and Royalty 2 loose highlighters. Our new show-stopping loose highlighters are fiercely made with the best pearls, finely milled and refined to give a silky finish, paraben-free and vegan, and easy to blend with a smooth form. Royalty 1 is a light copper with a peach base infused with gold reflex. That sounds like it would be amazing as a mix-in or an eyeshadow like shit. And Royalty 2 is a light champagne base infused with light gold reflex, perfect for light skin tones, which hello bitch. They say these are perfect for all skin tones, used with caution, the pearls are intense, a little bit goes a very long ways. Well damn, I wish other things were like that. Popcorn, sex, lube, money. Anyways, they say gently place pearls on highlight brush and blend until you get your desired glow. This can be used dry for a more intense look, wet a brush with setting spray and apply while blending. And I'm actually looking at the ingredients and they're different than what's on this package. They list like seven more ingredients on here, one of which is dimethicone, so if you have a silicone allergy, stay the fuck away from this. But on the website, it says they're pretty much 100% pigment, which if I try to press that, it is not gonna work. So I'm very confused. And this is a very new product. There are literally no reviews on their website, so I really can't get an idea as to what people think about this or if they have any tips or tricks to make these work the best, which I kind of like because then we can go into this. 100% blind. Well, let's go ahead and open these little hookers up and see what we're working with. I did already kind of take a peek at this one right here and it's definitely too deep for me, but oh shit, that bitch is pretty. And also fucking props for this packaging because it is very, very beautiful. Like, look at that shit. That is stunning. The back has a cute little sticker with a barcode. I'm kind of confused as to why there's a barcode on this because it comes in a box with its own barcode. But overall, the packaging quality is just really nice. I love the foil top and I love the fact that it says Juvia's Place on the front as well. Like always, the artwork is absolutely amazing. The name right here is in raised gold letters. For what you're paying for these, I just feel like the packaging quality is just so fucking good. And let's open this up. Uh, and Oh, oh God. It's instantly trying to make a big mess, which is really why I don't like loose highlighters. Like there is no clean way for me to apply these. But here we have the deeper shade. It is so reflective, so rich and deep in gold. I'm really tempted to sprinkle a little tiny bit of this into my foundation, but then at the same time, I also don't want to look like a fucking metal pole. And I am going to swatch the both of these just so we can test the waters before I go dick first into the pool. But here we have the second and lighter one, which this one still looks a little bit too dark for me. My God, fucking open you whore. Ugh. Oh wait, actually that might be perfect. It's got a nice golden tone to it. Oh, shit, yes. But here she be. It's very, very similar to the first one, just kind of like a lighter version. Oh, very pretty. Because there's only two of these, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do live swatches. So let's go ahead and swatch and do a look with these bitches. You guys know the song. Are you ready? It's swatching time. First up, let's go into the Royalty One. Eh, oh my god, it's already made a huge ass mess. Like, look at that. Oh, 
God. Actually, no, it's not necessarily messy. It's just all above the little sifter thing, which makes me really nervous and being a clumsy ditz, this is gonna end up all over my floor. So I'm just gonna take whatever's here on the cap. And I did put a little bit of Smashbox primer on my hand and it's very, very pretty, but it definitely does not swatch like a pressed highlighter. Like it went on a little bit patchy, but then once you rub it around, holy shit, is that orgasmic. Like, oh my. Oh God, I fucking love highlighters, shit. And then let's dip into the second one, which I'm guessing is also above the sifter. <gasps> yes! And let's swatch that right there. Oh shit, yes. That one is really pretty. Ooh, that is gonna look so damn good on my face. Get on me, boo. Ooh. Truthfully though, the first one looks a lot deeper in the container than it does on the skin that might still be a little bit too deep for me, but it also might work. I don't know. I do already have a little bit of highlighter on, so let me take a fluffy brush and kind of dust that away. And I do already have some Smashbox primer on my skin, so let's go in with a deeper shade on this side of my face first. Holy hell. Now look at the inside of the lid. I just want to nail that shit to the wall. And we'll start with a very, very small amount because they said use sparingly, so I just have that. Which even that is probably way too much. And... Uh, um, I can't tell. Did that do anything? Maybe we need a little bit more. Okay, let's try that in. Uh, oh, fuck me. There we go. Oh, can you see that? Oh, sad day though. That is definitely way too dark for me. I don't know if you can see exactly how deep it is, but in person, it just looks like there's a yellow streak going on my face. But if you have a deeper tone, holy hell, this would be amazing. And you can tell it's too deep for me because when I look forward, all you see is like a deep streak right there. So that's a bummer, but but ready? Oh, yes, bitch. So let's just kind of clean this bad boy off and go in with the lighter one. And let's give it a little dippy. Oh, shit, I really covered that brush. Holy hell. God, my lips are getting tingly. I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> uh, oh, 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 fuck. This is everything that I've ever wanted in my life. Look at that. Oh, the color is so amazing. And there's still eyelash glue in my lashes from my last video. How embarrassing. Not gonna lie though, it is still a little bit deep for me. I don't know if maybe I just applied too much, but when I look forward, you can see it right there. But I'm hoping that once I have my foundation and concealer and everything on, it'll blend into those and not be so obvious. Because in person, it is a little bit too yellow, but I also think I did apply way too much, but I mean, still, it is pretty damn close. I had some cat fur on my nose right there and now I've got a highlighted nostril. Ugh, <laughs> fuck. Ugh. All right, let me go ahead and wipe this stuff off and hop into a look. For primer, I'm going back in with a little bit of Smashbox. And for foundation, I'm gonna be either very stupid or very brave, or maybe both in this case. But I'm gonna take some foundation that's actually way too light for me, which is this Derma Blend in the shade 10N and mix it with a few drops of the darker 25N. And I'm pretty sure this is still gonna be way too light for me, which is perfect because I'm gonna add just a few little smidgens of the deeper highlighter. Just a little tiny bit, which I probably still added way too much. Oh my god, I'm gonna look fucking metal. Or maybe it won't do anything. Let's see. Oh shit, I think we might still be a little bit light. My bad. Actually, we might be okay. I would much rather look a little bit ghostly than what I typically look like, which is a fucking banana. Ooh, the coppers. Are they coming to arrest me on the count of multiple glowgasms? Okay, so now that this has dried down, I feel like I probably could have added a little bit more because I don't see a whole lot of shine happening. It is pretty matte. I mean, there is a little bit of glow, but I don't think it's any more glow than I would normally get from this foundation but it does still have a nice, subtle, natural little shine going to it, so I'm not that mad. Moving on to concealer, I'm going in with a bit of Shape Tape in the shade of Light, and set that shit with a little bit of Laura Mercier's Translucent Setting Powder. And for the eyes, I really want to just showcase the highlighter, so we're going to keep the look very, very simple, so I'm going to go in with this Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette into Rolling in the Dough, and I'm going to place that pretty much everywhere on my eye to set the eye primer. Then in that same palette, I'm dipping into So Bougie, and I'm going to place that all along the crease line and Windshield Wiper Motions. And same with Coco. Go truffle. And then in that same order, I'm just placing those all along the lower lash line as well. This look is super fucking simple. Like it will not get any easier than this on this channel. The last highlighter I reviewed was the Jeffree Star Liquid Highlighter and we did a simple look with that and I fucking loved it. So we might as well just keep it simple glam today as well. Why the fuck not? Oh my God, this smells so good. And I really don't think this is gonna stick to my eyes without a base. So they did say you could use this wet. So I'm just gonna spray some setting spray on a clean brush. And what a fucking shocker, but I'm not cutting the crease today. I'm just placing this right right on the eyelid. So let's start on the inner corner. <gasps> oh my 
God. This is literally like liquid gold on my eye. Holy shit on a stick. Oh. I mean, I would never use this wet anywhere else on my face because it would just be too much. But this, holy damn. That is like out of this world foil action going on, which is kind of making it so you can see every little wrinkle on my eye. But at this point in my life, I don't even care. Let's go in with a little bit more, shall we? Uh, <laughs> yes. And with this guy, I'm going to try to spread it all along the eyelid. I noticed that once you kind of put it on your skin when it's wet, it instantly dries down and it's stuck there. So that's kind of a bummer, but still the way it looks is so pretty. I wish my eyeball weren't so bumpy, then this wouldn't look like the surface of the fucking moon. But bumps and all, this is beautiful. Just for shits, now that this brush is kind of dried down, I'm gonna lay it down on my eye to see what happens. Oh shit, that does lay down. Definitely not as foiled as this side, but still, if you're going for a more natural glow, dry is definitely the way to go. I personally always prefer it wet. <laughs> but for continuity, let's Let's go ahead and make both sides the same. Oh, damn it, that's pretty. Wow. I just hope it looks as good on camera as it does in person because in person I look like I'm ready to go to the fucking Met Gala. Or at least blow a rich guy in a fine dining establishment. One of those. And another shocker today, I'm not gonna go in with a wing. I'm actually gonna take a MAC black cold pencil and just line the upper waterline. All right, the eye look is done. We have a little bit of contour, bronzer, and blush, and we are ready to highlight. Oh shit, I'm so excited again. And we'll go in with number two, the lighter of the pair, and I'm just gonna take a little bit. Uh... Oh, oh, she said we need more. Yes, bitch, yes, there you are. Oh, oh my God, just marry me right now. And now that I do have my foundation and concealer and everything on, it actually looks really, really good for my skin tone. Like, it's not too dark. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there because I think that looks absolutely stunning and I don't wanna apply too much and cake this shit on. But honestly, this is not messy at all. Like, I just reapply the lid, give it a shake, and then I use whatever's on the lid. And I know that because the powder isn't flying all over the place. It's more on the wet side. This absolutely has like dimethicone and stuff in it, which makes me really hopeful for when I press this. Although I don't even really need to press this because it's not messy. But for shits and giggles, I do still want to try pressing it just to see what happens. Because personally, I would not mind taking the shade of highlighter on a trip with me whenever I go traveling, but I'm not going to take this big ass jar with me. It's just too big and clunky. What do you think? Does it clash with my skin tone? Is it too little? Is it too much? Am I just ape shit? I think the quality is really, really nice. It melts right into the skin. It doesn't accentuate my pores like a lot of highlights do. And even though it is kind of on the more beaming side of highlighters, it's still like a natural glow from within kind of look. I don't know, I just fucking adore it. And no, I'm not just saying that because I love Juvia's Place. If I didn't like this, y'all would be the first to know. So let's finish this look up with some lips. I'm kind of feeling Kat Von D's and Nosferatu. Yes? Yes. So what do we think? Some nice, very easy, simple glam. I'm digging the fuck out of it. Oh, bitch, this highlighter though is just doing things to me. And before we jump into our wear time, I do just want to see if I can quickly press this. You could probably just do this with rubbing alcohol or that moon mist, moon mud, moon foam, whatever the fuck that stuff is. But I have this little pressing kit right here. This is not sponsored, but it's from Fixie. I did just review this. Check it out. But I'm going to try about that much. And if this doesn't work, I feel like I could easily just regrind this up and put it back into its container. That literally did nothing at all. I really don't know why. I thought it would because now that I'm looking at the ingredients, there are no powder binders in this whatsoever. So we're just gonna pour this right back into here and act like this never happened. But now that we know that doesn't work for shit, let's go ahead and do a wear time test. I will see you in just a second. And we are back. We did just hit the five hour mark. And when I redid my lips, I put Pat McGrath's Lust Gloss over it. And holy shit, I love this. Such a good lip combination. Damn. Anyways, I think this highlight is still holding pretty strong. It may have faded down a little bit, but overall this shit is pretty concrete. I did notice a few little shiny speckles right here in the inner corner of my eye, so it must be falling from my eye, but overall, the transfer is seriously minimal. But I think overall... I kind of fucking love this highlighter. I'm not gonna be dramatic because that just is not me. But this might be in my top five favorite highlighters. Like, maybe top three? Other than my own highlighters, of course. But this is, like, right there next to Ofra's Rodeo Drive. Like, oh. The only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that it didn't really look that good on my skin when I didn't have foundation on. And that's typically the only kind of makeup that I'll wear unless I'm filming. So I do wish it was a little bit more universal. But when it's on my foundation, this shit is balls. Like, it blends out beautifully. It goes on the eyes amazingly. You can either foil it wet or you can just dab it on your eyes for a nice little shimmer. In the end, even though I'm 
I'm not able to press it into a pan. The formula is so moist that it doesn't just go everywhere the moment I open the cap. So I really don't have an issue with it being loose. Do I recommend this product? I definitely do, but I don't know that I'd say get them as a bundle because one of them, I can't use it as a highlighter, but I can use it as an eyeshadow, but I mean, that's a shit ton of eyeshadow. So maybe if you are wanting it just as a highlighter, get your own shade rather than getting the bundle. But still, I'm really damn happy to have both of them and I'm totally gonna use the shit out of them. But there you go. Like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which does change from black to white, is available at thepoplux.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at official Nady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.